because it's such a nice day. Uh, it's too early to go home just yet. So I'm uh, parked in a car park not far from the village of Newborough, South West Anglesey. And I'm going to look at uh, some stepping stones across a, a river, the local river. I'll walk uh, about a quarter of a mile down here and then turn onto a, a track that goes down to the stepping stones. Path along the side of this main road up to this point where we turn down this lane here. Now this is uh, this is away from the crowds type of walk. I'll probably be the only walker on this track. I think the uh, stepping stones are about half a mile down here. This is one of those uh, walks where it's a long, long road without a turn in. This is a straight road, eh? Go, seems to be going on forever. Well, of course, I've already walked about seven miles today, so... Uh, I'm still all right, but... Uh, uh, well, uh, I've had my quota of walking. But, uh, as I say, it's no problem. OK, I've come to the end of this long track. It serves these uh, two... Uh, Houses here. It's to Bangor and Hollyhead, <laughs> that way. That's quite a substantial house there. Okay, there's a foot and bath sign there, so <clears throat> I'm okay to come this way. Hopefully, you're about to hear me because it's quite a breeze blowing today. And uh, I think I'm coming up to the river now. Uh, now this is, believe it or not, part of the Wales long distance uh, coast path. So if you uh, want to get to the other side of this river, you, you have to balance across these stepping stones. Now if you're like me, and your sense of balance is largely gone, this is where your adventures on the Wales long distance coastal path may come to an end. Although... <laughs> They don't look too bad, but generally on these stepping stones, there's one or two uh, of the stones that are kind of a, a bit of a gap between them. Uh, so, so I'm not. There's a bit of a stiff breeze blowing as well, which doesn't help matters. So, uh, but that's uh, that's uh, that's the stepping stones. Uh, I think uh, they're worth visiting. Uh, uh, kind of, you know, well, uh, as a short walk, you wouldn't want to drive. Uh, across the country to see them. Oop, and look at that, nice little bench just there. I don't know if you can see it, to admire the uh, stepping stone crossing. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, obviously if you're okay on, on your feet, uh, a youngster, for instance, and if you do uh, tumble off, no problem, you just get a little bit wet. It's only a fairly shallow river. Yeah, okay, so that's uh, that's the end of that. Uh, I've got a basically, I've got a country mile now to walk back to the car park. So, uh, Part of the uh, Wales Coast Path, but it's also part of the uh, Isle of Anglesey Coastal Path. There's a path that runs all the way. That would be quite a project in itself to walk that. Retracing the steps on this uh, straight. Uh, well, it's a track, but uh, has no turning, so it feels a lot longer. And it actually is. One reason I uh, did this short walk was I wanted to see if this model village, I think there's a model village just over the other side of the hedge, but it doesn't look like it's open. I can't, unless I, I'm missing something. I imagine it's got its own car park. Model village must be just a little bit further along, but I won't be going along because there's no roadside footpath and they, the traffic belts along this section. I 
thing about this time of year, the leaves have just come more or less, getting towards the middle of May, the leaves are more or less out on elm, pretty well all the trees. And uh, there's the car park, a couple of hundred yards ahead, end of walk, and the southwest Anglesey. And there's a car, kind of like, uh, kind of sculptures of some kind, unusual sculptures in the middle of this car park, quite... Uh, okay, that's the end of this uh, walk. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>